Hi guys, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around an Iron Bull ETG model trailer. E stands for equipment, and then the uh, G would be for a gooseneck. While this is technically an equipment trailer, we refer to it as a gooseneck car hauler. It measures 22 foot, 20 foot of flat, 2 foot dove, 14,000 pound GVW, 7,000 pound tandem axle, Dexter brand axles. Let's take a walk around to look at all the standard features of the trailer. There are a few options on this. We'll make note of those as we go around. Starting out up front, trailer's got dual jacks, full front toolbox. It's a uh, nice tall toolbox, goes uh, full width side to side. Iron Bull does a nice job with the uh, neck gussets. They go from the vertical to the horizontal and then from the vertical to the deck itself. They give uh, much increased stability over just some of the manufacturers that'll do two pieces of angwire or uh, channel on the back of the neck. A lot of your force or most of your force is concentrated in that area so your channel at the back of the neck really doesn't do a whole lot of good. Uh, you've got standard pinstriping on the neck, gives it a nice clean appearance. Two and five sixteenth inch adjustable coupler. It's got a snap coupler, auto latches. It's got two set bolts up top for your neck. Of course, your safety chains. Two and five sixteenth RV blade plug. It's got a spot in the neck for a spare tire. One nice detail on short track. They bolt the jacks on uh, if you ever need to replace one very easy to do so if you've never had a drop leg jack very simple you'd pull the pin it'll spring up has a nice wide foot won't sink into your sand and mud and whatnot this unit does have the 102 deck upgrade so where you would normally have a deck that would come out flush uh, with the inside of the fender this comes out flush to the outside of the fender so basically you got an 8 inch channel mainframe and then what you see here is a fabricated part that's going to come over down and then uh, your tie downs are going to fasten onto that so speaking of tie downs this particular one's got d-rings rub rail stake pockets and chain spools so you got more tie downs on this than what you would normally see on a trailer like this a lot of times you'll get just stake pockets and rub rail uh, got a lot of extra tie downs here this unit's also got a two by eight pressure treated deck in the neck uh, you'll see they do have one channel cross beam and then your one at the top again those do help tie the neck together but not near like the uh, the cross members out front this unit's equipped with an optional uh, winch plate so along with the 102 deck we would generally do a drive over fender instead of being about a six foot fender it goes to nine foot gives you a nice low slope you can drive over with uh, buggies jeeps uh, <laughs> Some guys will uh, put golf carts or ATVs side by side, go uh, go eight foot wide. Some guys will even put uh, round bales or whatnot on here. Has Dexter axles, seven thousand pounds. It's got the new uh, never adjusting brakes. Uh, the brakes will forward adjust so that you never have to uh, to manually adjust them. And also the black cap on the end of the axle uh, covers up an easy lube hub. So basically, you got a standard greaser. Anybody with a grease gun can do some basic bearing maintenance. No need for the uh, for the uh, bearing buddies anymore with these, this style. Also has a slipper spring suspension, a little heavier suspension than would be, say, an eye-to-eye. -eye. Tires on this are a 235-80 R16 10-ply radial tire. All LED lights. Mainframe on this, as mentioned, is an 8-inch channel. I'll show you. They also do a 3x5 angle underframe bridge. So below the channel mainframe on that, you'll see a 3x5 uh, angle iron frame there. And you'll notice 16 inch on center, 3 inch channel structural cross members. These are not a lighter form cross member that we're now seeing uh, come into the industry a little bit. This got a 2 foot dovetail. We also do some with a 3 or a 4 foot dovetail. Uh, normally uh, on the longer lengths with the taller frames we'll do a little longer dovetail to keep the load angle reasonable. Uh, ramps on these are all rear mount, under mount. This unit actually has an optional uh, LED backup light. Um, pretty rare as a feature. I want to show you these ramps. I like the, uh, the Iron Bull ramp on this. It's a nice wide ramp. 
Um, it's about an 18 inch ramp. Most of the industry are gonna be about 13. You got a nice big target with those. They're also knife edge, you'll notice. Uh, so it tapers down to a little bit of nothing. Traditional hook style ramp that'll hook on the bar. You got full width loading across the back. This unit is available, although fairly rare, with 8K axles. On longer lengths, a lot of times we'll go to a triple axle. Uh, always electric brakes. Trailer is powder coated. It's got a Sherwin Williams powder coat. It's got an I beam neck. And again, the 8 inch channel frame with the uh, with 3 by 5 angle under frame. When you go to a triple axle, it's going to jump up to a 10 inch channel. These trailers are going to weigh in uh, just under 5,000 pounds. That legal payload of about 9,000 plus your tongue weight. Uh, tongue weight on these are going to be upward of 3,000 pounds fully loaded. It's going to give you a payload of about 12,000. Certainly enough to get a full size dolly or, or so on a trailer like this. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or Check us out on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.